All right, you guys, I got about an hour before I got to go pick up the girls from school. I've got a bunch of homesteading skills that I've let go for a little too long. Um, this week has been super crazy with me building the new garden, and I kind of let some things go. We'll get there. We'll get there. So we're going to empty out the kefir that is fermented nicely. Luckily I'm going to be dumping it anyway, so it doesn't matter that it's over fermented. We are going to be opening, portioning out, and tasting our flavored kombucha. I've got to finally get these pickles into a jar. They're probably overdone now, but we'll still eat them. Um, and I might get to this harvest before I leave. If not, I can do it when I get back. But I've got some celery and some dill and some peppers that I need to process and get them uh, the dill and the uh, celery. Oh, and some cilantro. Get those. I want to get the dill and the celery in the dehydrator. I think I'm going to chop up the cilantro and freeze it in some olive oil. I think that's probably the best way to go about that. And then get the peppers in their freezer bags as well. So let's start with the kefir. We got this brand new, not sure how it's going to work out, um, Greek yogurt strainer. So hopefully this will make my kefir making easier than it was when I made it the last time. So we're just going to open this bad boy up and pour it in. And that is draining pretty slow. So, doesn't look like there's any more grains in there, so that's good. I let it ferment for almost a week for the second ferment. So I know the flavor is going to be good. Maybe a little more sour than I would like it. But I didn't burp it either. And I'm scared it's going to explode. So wish me luck. Um, hopefully it doesn't explode. bubbles on this are so good. I'm super excited. Look at that. 
can you see you can't Don't do it. What? What he gave the baby his
Hopefully we are two for two on the not exploding. from the bottom getting stirred up. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get closer. Pretty cool. All right. This one is not as fizzy, which is fine. It's really pretty colors, though. So. real quick because so I gotta try this flavor. And then I still need to buy more of these little personal bottles. So we're just gonna throw it in a different The fruit is turned into a scoby. <laughs> we will have to find a way to get that out later. So, first things first. Let's go ahead and pull that out since we're done with it. Pour a little bit into a cup so I can try it. Chill out. cherry almond one. Oof. A little extra sour, but 
I know that sounds ridiculous. I just said it was sweeter, but it is sweeter. But it's got more of a fermentation sourness to it. It's good though. It's more orange than cranberry for me. Which I'm not complaining about. I don't enjoy cranberry as much. It does taste exactly like what I would imagine a sweet simmer pot would taste like. That's good. Closed up. No. No. Okay. So the kombucha's done. Still needs to be labeled, so I'm going to keep them separated. on this real quick. Let's see. We can make this go a little faster. Definitely want to be gentle with it, but I don't want to sit here and wait two days for it to strain. I think I might, to be honest, since I'm going to be dumping this out anyway and not using it because we're still in the refresh period. I might run some water through it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Run some, some water through real quick. So I think once I get it on a schedule, it won't be so thick, so it won't be as difficult to get it through this. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more water. to get it all clean. I'm just gonna run it through the strainer and call it a day so I can get this task done because I've still got to do pickles. I should honestly be outside hanging up a clothesline so I can dry my husband's work clothes for tomorrow so they have time to actually dry. Right. So let's go ahead and throw the strainer, dump the grains in it, grains in there. So that'll need to be washed. All 
All right. So we got all of the kefir starter off the grains. So we're just going to go ahead and throw these in a clean jar. Also need to be washed. Fresh cup of milk. I feel like the Greek yogurt strainer will be good for when I'm making the dream cheese. It might be a better option. can just lightly line it with cheesecloth and then just set it out on my counter instead of having it hang. And it'll be easier to catch the way. So that'll be nice. All right. Now let's move on to getting these pickles out the jar. Chopsticks. And now we just fish them out. I wish that I had gotten a uh, wide mouth fermenting vessel. Um, I didn't know that there were different options in the size of the mouth, or I would have gotten a wide mouth vessel. But, that's okay. My next one will definitely be a wide mouth vessel though. And I won't do continuous ferments in this one anymore. It'll be temporary ferments so I can just pour them out instead of having to fish them out. So well, that'll be nice. some radishes to go in here next. Probably get those fermenting tonight while I'm cooking dinner. That's how fermented garlic is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be spicy like that honey garlic was. <laughs>
Put her on the counter right there. Right there. Okay. Hurry, run. label these. Gucci real quick. There's pickle juice on the counter. I'm gonna do C A for for uh, sorry not cinnamon uh, cherry almond and then O S for orange or C S for cranberry spice. I want to do C S for orange spice, but we'll go based off of what they named it. So I know what flavoring I used. So these ones are the cherry almond. That's crooked. So C A.
this bottle, I want a bigger sticker on it. Let's go with this one. Get a little fancy, huh? If I can get it off. Yeah. Let's get fancy and then put it on crooked. Oh yeah. All right. These are going to be C S. This marker works a lot better on these stickers than the ones that it came with, so that's interesting. Let's see, S. C. S. All right. Done. Use away. these in the trash and then I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the drink fridge all right so I was thinking about doing the radishes but I've only got about 15 minutes before I have to leave to go pick up my two older kids from school so I think we're gonna call it and say that's the end of building skills part three and we'll do radishes Ooh, I want to try fermented broccoli stems so we'll do radishes and fermented broccoli stems and do a update on the kefir if it's not ready and dehydrate my herbs and freeze my herbs and do all that stuff thank you guys so much for being here with me today and learning homesteading skills with me if you like these type of videos let me know it always helps for me to know what you like don't forget to like share comment and subscribe Hello? don't forget the bell notification so every time i post you see my posts thank you bye